So we started uh, looking at noise levels in toys a couple years back, uh, partly because of the fact that noise is the number one cause of preventable hearing loss. We uh, go to a couple of uh, different stores that have a wide selection of toys and we'll do some testing in the field with a noise level meter and select the 10 to 20 loudest toys uh, and bring them into the laboratory. In the laboratory um, we use a high precision sound level meter um, at the level of the speaker and at about 12 inches away which is approximately the distance between the ear and, and uh, the toy if the child is using the, the device properly. Our findings show that some of the toys are extremely loud if if used improperly, such that if the child is holding the, the toy up to their ear and the speaker is right next to their ear, the noise level from those toys can cause damage to the hearing. When we tested the Road Ripper's lightning rod car, we got a peak of 108 to 109 decibels, which is equivalent to standing very close to an ambulance siren. One of the things we want to make sure is that the speaker on a toy is located in a location where uh, it would be away from the child's ear. So, for example, for a car like this, um, we would want the speaker to be located under the toy rather than on the side or on the top that would be closer to the child's ear. The other thing is that we ask that if uh, a toy is going to be used for a uh, two-year-old, then um, the parent should try to come in close to the toy uh, as a two-year-old would be holding it. If it sounds too loud to you, such that it hurts your ear, then it's probably too loud. Uh, if there's an equivalent toy that's quieter, then we prefer that you use a quieter toy to lessen the chance of noise-induced hearing loss for your child. Noise-induced hearing loss is a factor of two things. One is the level of loudness and second is the duration of loudness. So some things that are very loud, you can only get, ex you only need exposure to for a very short period of time to sustain noise-induced hearing loss. So for example, a gunshot, which is only a fraction of a second, but has a very loud sound, can cause permanent damage. But a noise like uh, an, a lawnmower, for example, a powered lawnmower, will take repetitive exposures of, of that sound for longer durations to cause uh, permanent damage to the hearing.